Hey, let's say hi to Dean Edwards. Get him in here. Ben, we're going to need one more update from your uh, drunk Boston friends about the uh, the search for the Chinese terrorists and the dirty bomb. Dean Edwards is playing uh, Caroline's th- this weekend, I do believe. Right, Dean? Yes, sir. Looking all good in his in his Puma gear, man. He's a handsome fellow. It bugs me. I'll say. It's not my fault. It's my wife's. Top oh, she really? dresses you? Yes. Does yeah. she put your clothes out in the morning? No. No? It's not that bad yet, but I've only yeah. been married a year. Am I on? Is this on? Yeah, this is what we do. <laughs> oh, I'm sitting here chewing <laughs> eggs and we, we do the same thing. We just eat on mic. It pisses people off. But my bad. Um, Canada. It's so funny. <laughs> people do hate that, too. They do. Yeah. They hate yeah, the so eating thing. How you... Um, yeah, well, so. We have no breaks. What are we going to do? Not eat? Yeah. I know. Why am I talking like an old Jewish man? What are we going to do? Not eat? What are we going <laughs> to do? What do you do? What are you going to do? What are we going to do? And again, he told me to be here. I'm here. I'm essential to the war effort. <laughs> what was what? Yo, I I I caught this list. One old old man who was just trying to shovel on his way, and, and the guards they, they were on a truckload somewhere. And again, I, I know this is a comedy show, so forgive me. And uh, this is funny though. And they're on their way somewhere, and they, the German guards pull them over, and they go, "Everybody is shoveling." So they make all these poor Jews shovel, and the one old man with one arm is trying to shovel with one arm, and the guards laugh at him, and he knows he's about to be shot, and he goes, I'm essential to the war effort, <laughs> and they shoot him, because he wasn't. He was a one-armed shoveler, Holy <laughs> and it's Jesus. awful, and it's very sad, and the fact that I'm saying it, and you're laughing hysterically, and I want to laugh. Now, <laughs> was, he doing it, was he doing it as a joke, as a last joke before he dies? Because that would be, that funny, would be funny if he turns around and goes... I'm essential to the war effort. Joking about his one arm. Oh, I'm essential to the war effort. I'm going to die anyway, so why not go out with a bang? No, he wasn't I'm trying essential. to be funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. He, he actually uh, thought he was because he was doing some job that Oscar Schindler, I think, yeah. had him doing with one arm, and he was. Uh, oh, yeah. Now, Dean, you were gonna you were gonna say something. Um, was it about Canada and Jimmy? Uh yeah no I was trying to figure out what was going on I I was it did you guys get him I heard you say oh the whole me. corporate thing yeah we got to go to Washington broadcast live for two days uh-huh. uh, from the XM compound and they want us to you know have some more synergy with them down there so we, we got a lot of corporate meetings and they they put together a uh, an agenda mm-hmm. and uh, and we got Jimmy really bad because they want him to sit through like sensitivity training for a few yeah, hours I don't like the language the XM compound and an agenda and synergy oh, I know, I know. It, it sounds like a cult doesn't yeah it? yeah it's like a cult it's Waco part two yeah. yeah. Bring your Nikes. Yeah, we all castrate ourselves and go to the spaceship. Uh, our <laughs> programming director is Marshall Whiteapple. <laughs> <laughs> Marshall Whiteapple. Marshall Whiteapple. Wow. I don't know how you remember these names, man. Because I'm garbage. I can't remember not to pay a woman for sex, though, and find some real love and intimacy, can I? Fat-breasted, lonely zilch. Yeah, well, and you, what were you right, calling the, gr- the dude? You were calling her a fat 80s woman? Oh, because what was he saying? He was going, police. Oh. Oh, Jesus, dude, are you center square in 1976? Oh, really? like, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> he was like B. Arthur with leg warmers on. <laughs> police. I bet he put his hand police. up. Yeah. Even though he was on the phone, he put his hand up. Police. I was just worried. I'm like, this guy might tell me to get a life. Oh. Like, I hit you with that. That would have shown you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we, we got some examples of uh, Pat from Monaki. Oh, oh, to let people in on the game. He was the, uh, by the way, to explain to new listeners and to Dean. And to Dean, who's playing have, Caroline's all weekend long, by yes, the way. He is. Yes, um, we have. Uh, got, we had a contest to give away a my five. Whoever could drink the most eggnog. Uh-huh. And this guy is a bit overweight um, for uh, for a planetary thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he drank about, what fifty double shots of eggnog, and then something like up. that. But he has a lot of. He's a funny guy, and he told a lot of jokes. He was yeah. the last to throw up, and this is how it sounded when, it, when he finally this released the really him. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that bad? Oh, damn. <laughs> well, how, how's eggnog chunky? <laughs> Why is there feta cheese in his <laughs> eggnog? Pieces of his spleen from the looks <laughs> of him throwing up. It was awful. There was a license plate and a... <laughs> few other things. Little Kittner boy. <laughs> he was just power booting. Robert Shaw's leg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's drink to your bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did... <laughs> That's what it was, yeah. Gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> but he was cool under pressure, though. He's like, you know what? I better throw up. And he puts his... Yeah. He was diabetic. And Ope is just like, go ahead, more. I'm like, <laughs> I was obsessed. I'm like, you're more, killing him, but more. it's good. It's a good gag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So in between drinking all this eggnog, he was uh, throwing out really bad one-liners. Oh, okay. So and then these guys have been imitating. He's one of these all morning. He's long. one of these jolly fat guys uh, who's constantly uh, trying to get acceptance by making these jokes, and they just never work. They're really bad, and so he tells them, and he'll add like a. Mm, mm, kind of oh, facial yeah, expression, <laughs> you know, you know, like the very, very bossy, yeah, 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 jolly yeah, red, very cheek, rich fat boss. guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know how to. Ha, ha. Mm. He's like Voss with more dignity. <laughs> <laughs> but he has. Here's the thing with Pat. He has. I think it's rosacea. Yeah, so his cheeks are very red, so red, red and red rosy, cheeks. which I now think is from him doing jokes and people going, "Look." I'm done, with, I'm done listening to your jokes. Shut up. Shut up, stupid. But we really like Pat. I know we don't sound like we do, but we oh. really like him. Do you have a couple of clips of him? Yeah, I've been dining. Oh. Oh. All right, let's listen. Here's Pat. She Just spilled my minute. eggnog. Whoa. <laughs> Joking about Piling the PSA. Up on it, right? Doing a little PSA joke. Yeah. And we had, you know, goofed on the PSA like 20 times before he did it, so it was like he was fifth in line with yeah. the same joke. Here's another example. Oh, really? I'm just starting. No, just uh, starting to drink. Right, right. Mm, this is really a tough one. Uh, just starting. Just starting start to drink. drink. <laughs> yeah, well. Beer all week. <laughs> Pizzas. <laughs> yeah, he's got a John Candy quality to him, doesn't yeah. he? No, yes. well, yeah, without any, without any humor. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> John Candy now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a touch of Mr. Magoo. <laughs> oh. He's a, John, <laughs> he has a John Candy humor from JFK. <laughs> <laughs> you got the right ta ta, but the wrong ho ho. Vomit. <laughs> Good day to you, sir. Here's another example. More! More! more. What? It's just just more, screaming more. more. Yeah. More eggnog. Oh, oh, yeah. And then one more? I'm thinking, uh. Can't wait for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, it's like, oh, what's he thinking? He's full, He he's had enough eggnog, he's been drinking a lot, what? I have, 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 have breakfast. Have, 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 have. I really wish he was here. What a jolly Where, where's old... Where's he from? He's from, he's from up here? He's from Jersey. Oh, okay. Munaki. Munaki. Miyaki. Munaki. He lives in it, which is kind of like Bukaki. <laughs> having that on your face is more pleasant than listening to those lines. <laughs> oh, I have oh, another one liner. <laughs> oh, fat from Munaki. You've done it again. <laughs> oh, eh. <laughs> Anthony, uh, shifting gears. Oh, We've yeah. been talking about uh, uh, Mayor Menino from Boston. Mm -hmm. Have you heard this story yet, Dean? No, no, no. There's the front page of the Post. We're looking for four Chinese nationals. <laughs> Me need no more eggnog. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a big story. There uh, may be a dirty bomb somewhere in the United States. <laughs> a so, dirty bomb? That would be Pat telling jokes in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> They're Chinese. I won't be ordering any <laughs> Japanese food. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He gets it. I love it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Me, Yaki. So, uh, where's Ben? we got to get the last update. Ben, one of our producers, Dean, he's from Boston, and he knows everything that's going on in Boston. And uh, this morning, the story broke. It's on the front page of the paper. We're looking for the dirty bomb of these four uh, Chinese uh, people. Yes. And Ben's in the back office going that his friends are already looking for the terrorists in the Boston area. Yeah. Well, and there's, his, his drunk skin. friends are already looking his for these drunk, people. drunk, racist friends in Boston Good are out like in a mob looking for Asians <laughs> to beat up. Now. It's an old school mob. They have pitchforks and, and burning. Oh, yeah. That's how they are up there. Nice. Go get them. Come on. So, Ben, what is the, uh, what's the update? What's the update? I think they're passed out. I just try calling them. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> a bunch of drunks. So they're very <laughs> effective. Yeah. I just tried to call them to get them on the air and no answer. They're oh. totally shit-faced. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> Let's beat them up, dude. Let's get the baseball bats. So, yeah, Ben's like, if, oh. they, if they find uh, these four, they're going to be dead before the yeah. FBI gets to them. Oh. No, they won't. They'll fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're going to... Hold on, let me take a nap. <laughs> Delta Force are all passed out with cartoons playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Drunken northeastern sots. Yeah, we'll get him tomorrow. Tomorrow. We'll get him tomorrow. Go Pats. So we got uh, up. we got a couple clips from Menino's press conference, Anthony. All right. Three short All clips. Mumbles. I've asked our public safety agencies to take appropriate measures to heighten awareness. 
<laughs> to hang awareness of the dirty bomb. <laughs> yeah, there's a dirty bomb in our fine city. Shut up. This guy, is it true he's not running again? I think it's this is it for the... Finally. Finally. The good old uh, mayor of Boston. Give someone else a shot. How many years has he been in? Forever. Been in there forever. Three yeah. years. Forever. We, we left. It's like a pope. We left. Forever. Yeah. We left. Uh, forever. We left almost seven years ago, and and he was the mayor then. Seven years. Seven years. Seven years. So here's another clip from uh, Mayor Menino. We have information from one single enormous source. <laughs> one single enormous source. Pat, Pat from Monarchy. <laughs> <laughs> We all. Ah, wait, that's Bernie Bomb, head from Boston. Terrorism. Watch it, terrorists coming. Oh, it's called terrorism, not terrorism. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he is the worst public speaker. He's the oh, worst. God, that's funny. One enormous one source. From one enormous source. What, your tongue? That big fat piece of meat you can't keep in your mouth? You stuttering, muttering prick, yeah, you stuttering, muttering prick, yeah, you. One more, uh, one more clip here. Oh. You know, the problem we have is there's a lot of misinformation out there. There's been no is issue to me from any authorities about dirty bombs, our LNG tankers. I think we should go with the facts. Is, the facts. is he reading? Is, is, is someone handing him post-its as it he sounds reads like it? it? I couldn't understand what, what was that word he said at the beginning of that. We can play it again. We've been goofing on this guy, Dean, for forever. He, we, we've come to the conclusion he just has a really oversized, thick tongue. He's the guy that, that got gets in the way of his words. Our, our radio job up in Boston, by the way. Oh, really? We, we, we had so inadvertently announced that he had died in a car wreck <laughs> up in Boston <laughs> on April Fool's. Why would he take that? He took it a little personally. It could have been blown over, but he made a huge stink about it. Right. Got on the news, was uh, talking about how awful we were and how we needed to be fired or else the station was going to you know, pay. It was better in so they York. threw us out. Threw us out of uh, Boston, Mass. What's that word he says? You know, the problem we have is there's a lot of misinformation out there. There's been no is issue to me from any authorities Insurance? about dirty bombs issue? or issue? Our LNG tankers. Insurance? I think we should go with the facts. He's trying to say there's been nothing issued to me or something. But it's an issue. No, is, uh, is it issue? Or he, he was asking a question. Issue. I just want to assure the public <laughs> that Ben's drunken friends are out in force <laughs> looking for these terrorists with a dirty bomb. <laughs> and for some reason, Chester has been kicked in the liver, and we think the terrorists are responsible. <laughs> Don't you feel safer knowing he's on top oh. of things up there? Jesus Christ, no wonder those... Uh, those uh, you sound like him. He's I know. He's I can't even talk you. now. I suck. <laughs> His <laughs> tongue is infected. No wonder you. the terrorists came out of the airport up there, Logan, and crashed their planes there. They're just walking into that place. I wouldn't be surprised if they are headed there with a dirty bomb. Nathaniel put this little poster here. Mm -hmm. Oh, five minutes after we were talking about it, but I think it was still all time. He said the big source, Ben's bulge. Ah. That was Nathaniel. Wow. Now, <laughs> from now on, the only intern that is allowed to bring post-its into me uh -huh. is Noah. Oh, Noah. Man, you're going to get New this Noah. kid. You're going to get this kid killed. That looks good, man. Yes, yeah, he's he, dressed. I mean, but yeah. He, he's our intern. But I, when, when Look I, at I, how we dress, and our intern is out dressing when us. When I first walked in, like, I tried not to, and I said, you, wh why? <laughs> yeah. Well, I said, are, are you just sitting in? Do you own XM, perhaps? Here's the thing. That, that's Ooh. the boy I like. Now look back there. They look like all the guys that were murdered and bullied. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was only one guy murdered and bullied. They were the ones that killed him. Maybe I should... Oh, oh wow. That's just... Thing. I just look at Noah is modeling. Do you see his hands? Look at how he's standing, man? hands on hips. Is this J. jacket Penny slightly look, pulled what, away? What kind he should of be watch? throwing a football. He just, everything he's doing is stylish, man. He just turned away, wiped his nose smooth. What kind of watch is that, watch. son? A diesel, diesel watch. Diesel. Suit little, is stylish. He's got a nice suit for the uh, and then a little diesel watch to mm -hmm. show the girls. Y'all should have a contest. Who wants to date Noah? I uh -huh. win. What kind of watches? <laughs> what kind of watches do you like? Diesel do. <laughs> or don't. Well, uh, uh, I like to watch a mirror when I'm eating. <laughs> Breakfast. <laughs> oh. Hey, watch, watch the puke come out of my mouth. <laughs> Little fat fingers in his throat. Oh, what? What? I thought you were done with him. Why are you dragging this kid out? I like him. 
Yeah. You want to drag one of them to do some things with this kid's thing. <laughs> so why is he? What? Why is he on mic? He's got a headphones on everything. You're really ready to go, aren't you? He's son? ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just push Anthony over a little bit? And He's always prepared. His subliminal, his subliminal ego is, I've been waiting for this moment forever. <laughs> Opie and Anthony, I will overthrow you! Say something, stupid. Say sound something. effects. Um, don't have much to say. Uh, You're a broadcast major. Yes, say something. Say something. Is he really? Well, well, I'll, take, I'll take you up on the offer on that, uh, that uh, dating thing. Oh, well, not me. I'm no. married, man. Oh, no, no. Easy. No, no, Easy. No, no, no. No, you, no, you said you said for people to. Uh... Oh, oh, I don't know. Sue, look at that. I, I'm here for. What you want to? What you want to go hey. out on a date? Sure. Yeah. I mean, you, uh, you brought up the offer. I thought it was a are, good idea. Uh, Any uh, what type of a chick do you uh, admire? Um. You like tig old bitties, man. You like the tig old bitties. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's Oops. ask you a question. Much like Jim, huh? How far? Do we have? Well, oh, excuse me. Yeah. Hold on. I want to know if young Danny just implied that I have fat titties. <laughs> he really did. I really hurt, Danny. He's getting a little too confident. I think. Really I know. Just he's did. Hand in his pockets, unshaven, looking good. God damn it. All right. Uh, I was wondering if maybe um, Tracy Morgan was in studio today. Oh, I don't know oh, if he is. Oh, and, oh. and yo, I want to know where to go on a date with a black woman. <laughs> no, you need some black in you. I want a black woman to to, to sodomize him. Or be sodomized. You can be the sodomy or the sodomer. <laughs> but do the sodomy, not the rodomy. I think I'll pass on that. Listen. <laughs> Listen. We're going to find you a day. We need to bring you to some of them strip clubs up in the Bronx. Like the GOAT. The GOAT was old school. That's where you could, you know, walk in, tip a girl a dollar, and stick a pinky in a boot shoe. <laughs> That's the chocolate starfish. Am I dressed right for that? You dress however you want to dress. You're effervescent, though. Don't ever let them tell you any different. <laughs> Flying high, sky stratosphere over LaGuardia. Because I don't like JFK. That is, he's got Tracy's eyes. That is, that's Tracy's eyes, yeah, man. Yeah, that's really listen. scary, man. That was funny. You're awesome. Noah, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Tracy will stare at you until you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. First time, yeah. I love you. <laughs> Five minutes later, you walked away. Yeah. You're across the room. He's still looking at you, mouthing. Dude, <laughs> we we had a celebrity <laughs> softball game, and and Tracy Morgan showed up with Jim Brewer, and Tracy decided to get completely well, not completely naked. Did he have a jock strap on, or is he had like yeah, small bikini, underwear. really tiny underwear, and just walks out onto the field. That's it. That's it with his with his big gut hanging out, oh, and yeah. he just didn't care. Chasey has no shame. Oh, he's got Dean. stretch marks down his <laughs> side. Dean, and everything. We had six thousand people there. Oh, I'm like, this care. guy's got balls. Tracy, Tracy does not care. No. Man. You got, no. And then he wanted to, then he wanted to take us all on a field trip th uh, through Harlem or the Bronx or whatever to. Well, Try to see where I used to live. These old my, my old stomping crowns. There goes Welfare Fred, man. He's awesome. <laughs> He hangs out. He's there from, from 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. He works a 12-hour shift. Then crackhead Susie comes out and takes over. <laughs> I love her, too. <laughs> Spectacular. I love Opie and Anthony. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I love O&A. Noah, anything? You want to be a broadcast journalist, you know. Oh, yeah. I know. How do you deal with someone? No, how would you deal with someone like, like, <laughs> if Tracy came in, he's like, no, it's, it's popping. Popping. We ready to do the interview. Let's go. Come on. I got 10 minutes. What would I Quicker. say? Quicker. What would I say? Yes. Dude, take your hand off your hip. <laughs> yeah. He calls dad and have him do it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Danny just doesn't like Wow. Noah. He's a little teapot <laughs> short and stout. Well, because <laughs> there is his look, hand they're on the They're both the same. They're like. Zip and he's here like, goes his mouth. <laughs> he's like the bizarro version of Noah. <laughs> he's like the clean cut versus the evil version. Yeah, he's, oh, he's got the evil God. goatee, too, yeah, right? Yeah, man. Well, I missed something good. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. I missed something really good. Yeah. Damn it. I Listen hate that. Listen on the replay. I will. Very funny, Jimmy. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, you got nothing. <laughs> nothing. Now he's standing like Nixon. He's got his arms <laughs> crossed in his suit. I, I am not a homo. I am. <laughs> he's a young Republican. Look at him. Uh, not a Republican. <laughs> and Liddy, Liddy pulled my fly down. <laughs> <laughs> and then he zipped it up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, Noah. Thank you, Noah. You're welcome. Very good. When are you Thank coming you. in next? 
I come in on Monday. You come in whenever you want, kid. You got pizzazz. Thank you. <laughs> what year are you in in school? I'm a senior. A senior yeah, at NYU. Graduating. Yep. You've been there for the whole time. Four years. So you're ready to graduate now. You're, you've learned everything you're pretty much going to learn. I don't think I've learned too much. No? Nah. They didn't teach you about broadcasting? Nah, not much. No? But I hope they don't hear this. <laughs> did you see, did you uh, no, and not good to say when you're interning here. Did you see the Olsen twins at NYU? I have not seen them. Did you no, see no. anyone jump from the uh, the roofs? Know anyone that uh, jumped? Ooh, I didn't know anybody, but I heard a lot about it. Well, you're going yeah, in this business, business kid. Yeah, yeah, do you ever look out the window and see an expressionless face <laughs> falling by you with a math book? I don't think I want to see that. No Asian person uh, plummeting from the roof, <laughs> thrown off by some... <laughs> Drunk Boston friends. <laughs> Why is your face all red? What's the matter? You don't be nervous. We're all just joking. Yeah, we're just having fun. Bunch of men checking you out in a suit. Yo, is that the Subaru logo on your belt? <laughs> That's <laughs> Gucci. That's Gucci, bro. That's Gucci, yo. Like, Come on. Like, hey, yeah. babe. My bad. Shoot. I wear Sean John. That's it. Doesn't it look like the Subaru logo? <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm not a walking car ad. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh. Oh. There you go. You look very comfortable. Oh, thank you. As he poses Hands like on hips Superman. Again. Yeah. <laughs> Here is my handle. Here is my. Oh, I'm a sugar bowl. <laughs> 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 oh man. All there right. We well, great. Thanks. Oh, thanks. All right. Thank there you go. That's, as Eric's waving him off. All right. <laughs> Danny, get the door for Noel, please. <laughs> wow. You're going to get this kid beat up. Oh, shit. <laughs> the rest of the interns favorites. are the real deal, man. Oh, that's hilarious. That's fine. Are we going to uh, ever. Yeah, do I don't that, know if or? we have time, though. Yeah. For what? What? Do you want to play Guess What's in My Pants? She's been sitting there so long. Oh, you you want to do a speed uh, Guess What's in My We'll do it real quick. Hey, uh, Rebecca from yeah. North Carolina. Yeah. Re Rebecca, oh, hi. God. How old are you? 19. What do you look like? Well, I've got auburn hair, green eyes. I'm about 5'4". You're from North Carolina. Actually, I'm from Virginia. I'm All right. Yeah, we're great. How much do you weigh? About 120. Cool. 120? Are you in your car? No, actually. I'm with my fiancé in a tractor trailer. All right. And what are you wearing today? Right now, I'm not wearing a damn thing. Not wearing a damn nice. thing. We enjoy that. Nice. Okay, uh, we're going to play Guess What's in My Pants. Here are the rules to the game. You take the phone. You rub it on the most intimate of areas, right? Uh-huh. Okay. And uh, you will rub it up and down, side to side, and in a circular fashion. We will then, based on the sounds we hear, try to decide what type of hairstyle you have. Is it the regular standard issue girl triangle? Is it a landing strip, or mohawk as we like to call it? Is it the Hitler mustache, which is, well, a Hitler mustache? Or is it the clean shaved wood floor Jean Benet Ramsey, or as we like to call it, the Connor Peterson <laughs> armpit? <laughs> Uh, don't tell us, don't give us any hints or clues or anything until we ask what's in your pants. Okay, Rebecca, you understand the rules? Yeah. Here's All the right. theme song. Hit it. <laughs> that is the edited version of the song. Rebecca, <laughs> if you will, please, in an up and down fashion, let's listen closely. <laughs> All right. All right, please, side to side. And now right. circular motion. Okay, my guess is wood floor. Opie? <laughs> Come on. Opie? I'm sorry. Uh, I'll just landing strip. Landing strip? Clean Wait, shaven. Clean man. shaven wood floor. I'm going to guess inside of a cat box by those noises. <laughs> and No, I'm going to go with a uh, mohawk. And wait, mohawk? One more guess from Tracy Morgan. Yo, I think she's... I love her, her labia. I love everything she's holding down there. Chris Rock? What would Chris Rock guess? She's naked. <laughs> Anybody else want to guess that lives in your head? Uh, uh, Denzel Washington would say she is clean shaven. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm going to say a little kitty cat in there. <laughs> uh, Rebecca, what is in your pants? A landing strip. What? Jimmy That's Norton said, said Mohawk. Rebecca, thank you so much for I playing Guess What's in My Pants. Okay, Cue the music. My Pants. I can't believe we got that off so fast. It's like under a minute. That was a quick one. It was oh. Steve. Oh, wow. oh, and look at that. We got to give out. We got to give out plugs. Got to give out plugs. Yes. Um, I will be. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Dean Edwards uh, tonight. 
Tonight through Sunday. At Caroline's, 212-757-4100, uh, right? yes. Or carolines.com. If you want to check out some of my stuff I've done, check out DeanEdwards.net. Let me know what you think, man. Very funny stand-up comic, brilliant impressionist. Um, who you work with, you know? Uh, Mark Theobald and Harris Stan. And Pat from Monarchy. Okay, perhaps. And Pat's going to make yeah, an appearance. Yeah, Dean open. is handsome, and he has perhaps the two ugliest openers <laughs> on the planet. Mark Theobald looks like something that swims around the Titanic wreckage <laughs> that they can only see with infrared lighting. <laughs> wow! Nice. Where do you oh, see Mark Theobald? Oh, wow. Just just go to the show, and, 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 and you're going to love funny. Harris. If you've ever... He's CJ from A Soldier Story. <laughs> Look at <laughs> CJ, you're geeky. <laughs> you're geeky. Yo, geeky. That's exactly Oh, God, that movie is. is great. Oh, that's funny. That's a good show, though, man. Yeah, it should be hot. We, had, we, we did our thing last night. We have four more shows. It's going to be hot. Caroline's on Broadway. DeanEdwards.net. Check it out, man. It's going to be hot. Yeah. Take fun. I'll be opening my mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, you know, because I'm... <laughs> Guy. <laughs> also want to thank Donnie Deutsch for stopping in today. He was, he was great for us. Yes. We want to make him a regular. His uh, his new show debuts on CNBC next uh, this coming Monday. Monday. It's called The Big Idea, and uh, we're going to be on I don't know when yet. They haven't really scheduled our 10 p.m. time, yet. right? I, I believe yep. so. It, it's uh, I think he's going to do all right with that. Check it out. And uh, Noah, thanks for all the fodder today. Yes, Very good. Yo, you wanna... Noah, you're hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. I love you. We look forward to your next um, outfit no, on Monday. Yeah. yeah. You want to uh, get on the mic for a second? I want to ask you. Uh huh. Sure thing. Uh, what exactly? Wait, what exactly is? Uh, what made you really want to be?